What's up guys, Berko Productions here with a tutorial on how to install Chrome OS on your laptop. This uses a USB uh, flash drive in order to run it off of that. So it will have nothing, you won't have to delete anything or format anything. So what you're going to have to do is first going, go to this website, which will be in the description, chromeos.hexa.net slash lime.php. There are two builds by Hexa. All of this is credit to Hexa because he created this. I take no credit for this. Um, I'm just going to teach you how to. Um, there are two builds, Lime and down here, Vanilla. The Lime build has all the extra drivers that he added, which I think Lime's better because you can never be too sure if your drivers are supported or not, so why not get Lime? So what you're going to do is select your operating system, mine's Windows. You're going to first download WinRAR or 7-Zip. I personally like WinRAR. Download Windows Image Writer. Put these both in a folder. I have mine, mine right here. Here's the Windows Image file. And then you're going to download the actual image. The image is only like 350 megabytes. It's really small. But I would use at least a 2 gigabyte flash drive just to be safe. So what you're going to do is click USB and it's going to start download. I've already downloaded it so I'm going to cancel. So once you are done, you're going to put in your USB uh your USB stick and open Windows 32 disk imager and double click the exe. Now right here, you're going to select this blue folder and go to where you have downloaded your uh file for Lime, the Chrome OS Lime. You're going to I have it on the doc, on the desktop in a Chrome OS folder. Actually, first you're going to have to extract it from WinRAR. Okay, so once you have extracted the file, it shall be an image file, and you're going to go back to Windows Disk Imager, click on the blue f the blue folder, and go to where you have extracted it. I prefer the desktop because it's the easiest. Now, once it is selected, you're going to select which drive you would like to install it on. Make sh in order to do this, I just go to computer and then it's right here when you have it in. And all I have to do is click right and it'll take about 15, 10, 15 minutes for it to write. And now I'm going to switch to my video to show you how to do it on the laptop. Okay, so once you have the USB stick r with the image file written on it, what you're going to do is turn your laptop off. Right now I'm using a MacBook White 2008 edition. I know for a fact that it works on this. It should work on every other Mac. I, see, I don't know. I see why not. Or any other laptop. Assuming that the drivers are supported. You can check on his website which will be in the description. So you're going to have the laptop off. You're going to insert the USB. And then once it is inserted on a Mac, you hold the option key right here or right there. Hold it and then press on the power button. Wait for it to turn on. Keep on holding the option key. And now this will open the bootloader so you can boot on the EFI right here. This is the hard drive and this is the USB disk. On a Windows computer, what you'll have to do is go into the BIOS and change the boot settings to USB to first. Once you click enter, you'll see this and it'll automatically start booting from it this should take about twenty like it took me first try first time about thirty forty five seconds i didn't really think it was working but patience goes a long way so as you can see it is up and running and everything works let me just sign in right here now this d disk you can take anywhere you go and boot from any computer. So it does not change anything on your hard drive. You can keep your hard drive intact. I'll be creating a another tutorial on how to install this to the hard drive so you do not have to keep the USB key in if you would like. But this helps if you're on the go and you have an operating system in your pocket. As you can see everything works as Wi-Fi and the battery. And and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.